to record your own audio and video right from within PowerPoint, jump to the recording tab on your ribbon and click this button right here. Record slideshow. Now that is going to open up a screen that looks just like this. And hi. So if you don't like looking at yourself when you are recording, and I don't, I find it really, really distracting. I'm looking at you, which is great eye contact, but it's really hard. I can see myself down in the corner and I really want to look at myself. And a lot of people are the same way. And you can turn off that preview if you like, and I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to take my mouse, click on this button right here, turn camera preview off. There is a keyboard shortcut for that. That's control J. If you click on that, that will turn that preview off, but keep your camera on, which is another keyboard shortcut, control K. Now your audio button right here is turn microphone on off. That keyboard shortcut is control N. So those are some quick tools right off the bat for you. Um, your other audio options will appear at the very top. This is your microphone options for choosing what microphone you want to use for the recording or your web camera, which appears right here. Now other options at the very top left, you can see that you have the recording button, a stop button and a replay button. Now your stop, that of course is only available if you are recording and your replay button is only available if you have a recording to, well, replay. But I just wanna dive in real quick and show you a quick recording. So I've got some slides that I want to both teach you some great tips and tricks about recording in slides and to kind of demo the process of, well, recording itself. So I'm going to slip up, skip on over to slide two and, well, teach you a little bit about where to look during recording. So right now I have this recording button right here and I've got some notes or speaker notes for my script. So I'm going to bring those up hit that record button just to kind of give you a tour of what it looks like to record uh, well, a script in PowerPoint. So let me get comfortable <clears throat> and then hit record. For a more personal and natural looking video, be sure to look at the webcam when speaking. That way your audience will feel like you were talking directly to them. If it helps, turn off the webcam preview or just don't include the webcam at all. So now I have turned off that recording and I can click this preview button to see what it looks like. For a more personal and natural looking video, be sure to look at the webcam when speaking. That way your audience will feel like you were talking directly to them. If it helps, turn off the webcam preview or just don't include the webcam at all. So not a great recording there. Let me hit the back button here. If I want to re-record what that looks like or sounds like, what I can do is hit this X at the very top and clear recordings on the current slide and try again. So I didn't have great eye contact with the camera because I was reading from my script. So if I want to try that again, I can hit this record button and try one more time. For a more personal and natural looking video, be sure to look at the webcam when speaking. That way your audience will feel like you are talking directly to them. If it helps, turn off the webcam preview or just don't include the webcam at all. <laughs> and we can hit that replay again. For a more personal and natural looking video, be sure to look at the webcam when speaking. That way your audience will feel like you're talking directly to them. If it helps, turn off the webcam preview or just don't include the webcam at all. Okay, it's a little better. 
not great. I would probably try it again without the webcam, quite frankly. But let's move on to the next slide. Um, I think it already did. And let's try to record this one. And actually, I'm going to turn off the camera for this slide and just record the audio. In PowerPoint, any notes that you've included in the notes area can be displayed in the recording view by clicking the notes button. And if we want to give that a listen, let's go ahead and click that. In PowerPoint, any notes that you've included in the notes area can be displayed in the recording view by clicking the notes button. All right, and we moved on to the next slide. Now let's go ahead and record this audio. You might have noticed that in PowerPoint, audio and video is captured on a per slide basis. As for PowerPoint editing tools, PowerPoint lets you edit and trim the beginning and end of videos and audio only. That means that for you, long marathon style recording sessions where you'd be more likely to make a mistake talking in the middle, they're not a good idea. So I recommend keeping your script short on a per slide basis. Include more slides in the presentation if necessary. If your boss or your professor has given you some random limitation, like your presentation should be only five slides long, ignore it. That random slide constraint is probably coming from a place of ignorance. You might have noticed that in PowerPoint, audio and video is captured on a per slide basis. As for PowerPoint editing tools, PowerPoint lets you edit and trim the beginning and end of videos and audio only. That means that for you, long marathon style recording session. Okay, sounds good so far. Let's go to the last slide here, or the second to last slide. Also be sure to leave silence at the beginning and end of each slide. I've noticed that when recording and using the advanced slide button, PowerPoint can be a tad slow to begin recording the audio. So be sure to click the advanced slide button and wait for about a count of three before you begin your script. You can always trim out this silence later. But most importantly, don't forget that you can always re-record the slide if you make a mistake. Okay, now that we are done recording, let's go ahead and close out this presentation and view our audio on each slide. So there it is on each slide. You can see it there and there. Now, if at any time you want to go through and trim out that silence on each individual slide, just select the audio file, go to format or playback, I rather, and click on the trim audio button. From here, you can play the audio you might have no and click that green arrow to move that in. You might have and nudge that in further. I really wish we could zoom into the audio track a little bit more. You might have noticed that in power. And we can skip over to the end. There you go. Also, 
And that is how you can record slides in PowerPoint 2016.